Oh, hi there. This is Craig here. I'm playing around with my new webcam, and I've never had a webcam before, so perhaps we can have some uh, some more intimate musical conversation, some more videos coming from my desk here instead of down in the record room. But uh, I just finished watching a video from, I guess I'm a spud boy, and it was pretty interesting. Very interesting. And he was mentioning Jack Davis, the illustrator cartoonist, and I uh, just wanted to show this Jack Davis album. I don't know whether you have this one or not, but you uh, need the graphics on this. It's called The Sound of Sight by the Ray Martin Orchestra. It's London Phase 4 Stereo. Very easy to listen kind of music. And you also mentioned uh, Greg Shaw and Bont Magazine, and I think in my reply I mentioned that I was a subscriber of Bont Magazine back in the 1970s when, when I was a teenager. I first started subscribing. Uh, this is fall of 1973. It's the British Invasion issue. These can still be purchased, I think, uh, you know, on, on eBay, of course. This one is summer of 1974. It's kind of garage rock, Standell, Seeds, Leaves things like that. And there are 11 issues. Eventually he went into more of a new wave punk kind of thing. And uh, this is the last issue of Bont that I'm aware of. There's also the Bont Record Company, but uh, this one here, I don't see the date on this, but uh, I think the last Bont magazine. They're all fantastic magazines, and they're Lots of articles about 60s stuff, and then later on into the punk and new wave kind of scene. But really the theme of this little video is, uh, there's a new book out. I collect music books, as you can see behind me here in the shelves. I have a bit of a library here of music books. and uh, But this new book has just been released, I think before Christmas. This one came from the library. I haven't bought this one yet. It's The Doors by Greil Marcus. Real Marcus is a he's been a longtime writer, I think probably for 40 years or more. And one of his books, I think in the 1970s, was called Mystery Train. It's a it's a rock rock read classic. Um, this book here though, I mean the world needs really needs another doors book. Um, not really. I would take this out of the library or something. <laughs> it's a, it's just a series of vignettes about uh, about the Doors, some of their recordings, some of their bootleg recordings and live recordings. And Marcus actually uh, goes off on a lot of tangents. It's not really a very straightforward telling of the Doors story by any means. But um, but it is an interesting book. It's, it's worth having a look at. Definitely worth having a look at. But it's not a straightforward telling of the Doors story or Morrison. It's just a series of vignettes. Now if you are interested in the Doors This is probably the first book to start with. No One Gets Out of Here Alive by Jerry Hopkins and Danny Sugarman. This was uh, released in 1980, but it was, uh, I think, reissued again in the 90s when The Doors movie came out, the Oliver Stone movie, and it's still available. I think it's still in the stores. John Densmore, a drummer, wrote a book. This was 1990, I think. There's no index in this book. And when I'm buying books, one of the first things I look at is indexes. There is no index in this book. Any book that doesn't have an index, I don't know why they do that. The Doors, Light My Fire. This is um, Ray Manzarek's book that came out in the late 90s. It's an interesting read, too. One album I wanted to show you keep this short. This is a private press album. It just has the funniest cover on it. Dave and Sandy. This is private press in British Columbia. This one's autographed. That's Sandy. That's Dave, of course. Um, Sandy Lawson and Dave Adams. And on this album they do Summer Wine, you know, the Nancy Sinatra song, Nancy Sinatra Lee Hazelwood song. Um, to Love Somebody, the beat, uh, the Bee Gees song, early Bee Gees song. Um, Secret Love, 
which is uh, an old Doris Day song from around 1950 or so, and Already Gone, that was the Eagles had a bit of a hit with that. I think it was on the On the Border album. Just a nice private press. Thanks for watching, everyone.